This is the this is the part I hate the most, like having to introduce myself. Hi everyone, I'm Hat. Still, this is my friend, coworker. I'm coworker. He is the guy from the Gaysip strips. So why aren't you wearing a sweater vest? Because my boyfriend made me throw out all my sweater vests last month. Why? Because he said they're not in anymore. Okay. I asked you guys to submit questions. Last time you guys submitted so many questions that we had a whole bunch left over and we decided to do a second Q&A video. I have not seen any of these questions yet. My coworker is going to read them to me. Have you seen these before? No. No. I just said that. Are you listening? Oh, what? And here we go. Questions. Do you put product in your hair? No, never. Is you saying yes, you don't put product, or yes? Yeah, no, yes, oh yes, there's no, no yeah, okay. there's no, there's no product in there. Is your name really Hat? No, that's stupid, it's short. For Hatthew. From Facebook, have you ever bottomed, and what's it like? I've tried it before. I don't know if how far it got in constitutes having bottomed. Um, what does it feel like? Okay, imagine... Oh, I don't have to imagine. <laughs> Are you bald under your hat? No, I have lots of hair. A lot of people ask me. Whoa, you took your hat off. <laughs> How did you get to be so sassy? I'm not sassy. Everyone thinks I'm sassy. The only reason people think I'm sassy is because I'm gay. Interesting. If you weren't gay, what do you think people would call you? Witty. Witty? Yeah. Do you feel that straight people are called witty whereas gay people are called sassy? Gay people are always called sassy. And that's, do you think that's a, t t like something we need to remedy in, in language? No, there's a lot of sassy gay guys. <laughs> Who would you say was most supportive when you came out? That's gonna be part of another video. Oh. Stay tuned <laughs> on the next exciting episode of Adventures in Gay. What is it like to top? Glorious. Empowering. Yeah? No, I don't know. It's sex. Sex is overrated to me. Would I feel you... like, well, go ahead. No, no, you, you, you can. I insist. Well, I feel like I'm just waiting for the right person for everything to kind of click, really. Um, I know you say person and not Guy? Yeah. Does that mean that you still would have sex with a woman? No. I'm just noticing that you're, you're being gender not specific and I, I wonder if there's more to that. Is it good or bad to be gender not specific? Next question. Trent from Facebook wants to know, do you talk to your characters as you draw them? No, I don't talk to them, but I do make the face that I'm doing when I draw them. I use this one a lot. Oh, you do that a lot. Yeah, That's a good, a yeah, yeah. Do you ever do that in real life? When I do jokes, I hear I hear this noise a lot and I just assume people are, are like clapping <laughs> yeah. for me. How did you get to be so sassy? Is that is that another question? No, I liked it so much I wanted to ask it again. <laughs> What's the worst thing you've ever been called? Somebody called me a businessman once. I took great offense to that. Oh. I can't think of anything worse to be called. What's the nicest thing you've ever been called? One of our coworkers. He once called me an advanced infant. <laughs> Wait, I said nice is not worst. He meant it as an insult, but I took it as a great compliment. If you could be any Pokemon, which would you be and why? Good question. This is basically the question you've been waiting your entire life for. And I don't have an answer yet. <sighs> because you're still evolving? Nice. Yeah. This is one of the rare non-sex related questions. Would you say you often have adventures? I don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> I don't even know what I asked. <laughs> Do you have a motto that you live by? Get bitches, get money. Do people say that? I, I don't say that. Okay. Do you say that? No, I don't say it, I live by that. Oh, oh, right, oh, right. It's a motto you live by, so it doesn't have to be something you yeah. say. What I say is, man, these are great bitches and great money. <laughs> but the, the motto is, get bitches, get money. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. do say that. Try a serious one. Okay, ask me again. Okay. Do you have a motto that you live by? I like to say nothing bad ever happens and things just happen and it's how we perceive them and how we react afterwards that define those moments. If you choose, if you, there is something that is could be perceived as bad, but if you use it as motivation and you use it as inspiration, then all of a sudden you give purpose to that event happening, Ooh. which makes it not a bad event. So like that. things just happen. From Tumblr, your toes are weird and long What's up with that? <laughs> I guess I have long toes, I don't know. Yeah. They're not weird to me. You know, they are really long. Are they? Yeah. Do you ever use them instead of fingers? Yeah, I write with them sometimes. <laughs> I sign my John Footcock. Yeah. Man, I just thought of that. I'm really proud of myself. That's a really good John Footcock. <laughs> uh, that's also be a great porn name. 
John Footcock. I bet you it exists. Oh my God, I bet it totally does. Okay. Google. Hey, everyone at home, Google John Footcock and send me the results. <laughs> I look forward to hearing from you. Signed. <laughs> Hat. Hat. My, my couch squeaks. It does. You never just Oh, go. wait, not, not only when I do it. Hold on, let's have sex and- Yeah, okay. What shows or movies have you worked on? I was an intern on Foster's Home for Magic Friends. I was an intern on How to Train a Dragon. I worked on The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack. I made a short for Cartoon Network with my buddy. I worked at DreamWorks on Madagascar 3, on the Penguins movie. Now I work at Blue Sky, where we worked together. And we worked on Epic. And I'm currently working on Ice Age 5. Hat, do you really say so many jokes in your daily life? As my coworker, would you like to? That is definitely true. <laughs> How many good jokes do I tell? That is something I'm not going to answer on camera. Just a minute, serious for a second. Okay, I'll put on my serious face. Right. How tall are you? Five seven and a half. How tall are you, coworker? Shorter than that. He propped himself up on I, the pillow. I did. To I'm trying. Try <laughs> this whole conversation, I've been <laughs> gradually inching my way up. And would you like to tell my audience what you do every time someone takes a picture? Oh yeah, <laughs> no. Yes, I stand on my toes. Tippy toes. Yeah, I stand on my tippy toes. Do you know the term pocket gay? Yeah, somebody called me a pocket gay once. Oh really? Well, I've heard like two definitions. You, a pocket gay is like a gay small enough to fit in your pocket or like so cute you just want to like carry them around in your pocket all the time. In that instance. So maybe. I would be a pocket gay. Yeah. You are covered for both. Uh, thank you. Anyways. Oh, I'm going through the pictures. Joe, anyway. don't open Grinder. Okay, thank you everyone for submitting questions. This was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh my God, you have all these pictures <laughs> in your phone? <laughs> what? Thank you for having me at your gay talk show. Yeah. Coming up next, we drink oolong tea and talk about fisting some more. <laughs> Is oolong tea gay? I don't know, I think it sounds pretty. <laughs> it's like what you see when you take somebody home and they drop their pants, you're like, oolong. oolong. Yeah. <laughs> Two gays on a couch. And cut. I say cut. Oh.